Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now despite testing a fair few mini PCs on the channel, I'm never not impressed by the performance demonstrated from the often integrated graphics. Take the Minisforum UM773 Lite. It may look similar to other Minisforum machines we've looked at on the outside, but it features the latest Ryzen 7 7735HS 8-core processor and because of that it also comes with the tried and tested 680M graphics. As configured there's also 16 gigs of 4800MHz DDR5 in here as well as a 512 gig M2 SSD. What I really like about the UM773 Lite specifically is that you can manually adjust the power configuration so you can set this to sit power at 15 watts or allow it to max out at 65. Auto is also an option of course, letting the PC decide on a task by task basis. You can also add more RAM, up to 64 gigs if you wish, as well as a standard 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. This is easy to do and may help out as games start to use more and more memory. While we're on the subject, let me expand on the concept of today's video. Can the integrated graphics found inside this thing keep up with a once powerful but aging flagship GPU? I've done a similar test before with a modern low end card but today we're taking 2012's high end ASUS ROG 7970 Matrix Platinum and comparing it to the modern onboard graphics found inside the 7735HS Ryzen chip. It's been at least 10 years since this beast launched and somehow it can still run most if not all modern games that I throw at it with 1080p resolution, albeit with reduced settings. Driver support ended in June last year, I think it was, so I'm using later dated custom drivers to get the most out of this card. Have integrated graphics finally advanced enough to beat this once top tier graphics card? Well, I guess we should find out. Now the 7735HS found inside the UM77 3 Lite is very quick. It will actually match and even slightly outperform a desktop 5700G. I'm using 16 gigs of 3200MHz DDR4 with the desktop processor which isn't as snappy as the 4800MHz DDR5 found inside the Minis Forum but in both cases the GPUs will be the bottleneck so that shouldn't matter too much. The UM773 Lite also supports customizable frame buffer size so I thought I'd limit this to 3 gigs to match the 7970. It's set to 2 gigs by default which is sensible with 16 gigabytes of total memory in the system but 3 makes things all the more fair. At this point you've seen how 2012's high-end 7970 ROG Matrix Platinum holds up but can this little PC which is smaller than the card itself and uses much less power all components combined actually give it a run for its money? Let's take a look at some results. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with the lowest settings, without FSR of course, so this is native 1080p, the Minis Forum can manage 44 FPS, which in my opinion is very impressive for the CPU that's inside here. Even at low, the game looks good, and I'd like to emphasize that FSR is off. Not just because we can, but because it makes the testing all the more fair. Speaking of which, the old 7970 still puts up a decent fight, and it can still do at least 30 FPS, but it will fall short of the integrated GPU with 38 on average. The percentile lows were very similar, but the 7970 did have a better 0.1% figure, which I was and am expecting. All in all, it's a good start for the Minis Forum PC, which by the way is about the same as the 7970 as far as noise when gaming is concerned. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the results were very, very close, but the 680M pulled ever so slightly ahead once again. Remember that we are also limiting the VRAM here, which probably won't make much difference to the average figures, but it could to the percentile lows. We've also got faster RAM here, but that's just part and parcel of buying a more modern system a lot of the time, and there's not much I can do to alleviate that difference. As I said, the GPU in both cases are the limiting factors anyway, and so far, well, I didn't expect things to be this close. Nice to see that the 7970 is still doing okay, but it's very impressive to see that integrated graphics are finally at this sort of level, especially as we have the latest driver and API support 
here with the Minis Forum 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at 1080p ran at over 60 frames per second. I ran the in-game benchmark for the results of course, but I'm showing you footage from a bot match where it was far easier to replicate a similar scenario. And it was nice to see that in the real world, the 680M did still do better as far as an average goes. The percentile lows fall a bit shorter, and we can of course set the VRAM to 8 gigabytes or auto if we wanted, but with 16 gigs of total system memory, this still might impact the performance elsewhere. So three is actually a good place to leave things. I was perhaps being a bit ambitious as far as Forza goes, not for the mini PC, but for the 7970, and I went with the medium preset. I don't think the game particularly likes the older architecture of the discrete GPU, because the difference here was night and day with the 7735HS and 680M pulling way ahead of the card and averaging over 60 FPS once again. This is all while using 45 watts of power as well. The game looks very good at medium by the way and honestly it is still playable on the 7970 but I think the integrated result is very surprising and impressive. I finalised with GTA 5 as this doesn't seem to like APUs and integrated graphics as much as the other games and as such it fell short here. With that said though the game didn't exhibit weird artefacts this time around like it did when using the HD 7970 as you may have seen at the start. I don't know what that was about. We're still getting over 60 FPS, so it's more than playable at the high settings with FXAA, but there will be some dips and drops, especially in those busier areas. Another point I should add here is that, and it makes no difference today, but the UM773 Lite is priced really close to the 7970's launch price. Of course, that isn't true in 2023, but I think it makes the whole notion of how far integrated GPUs have come even more impressive. I still really like the 7970, don't get me wrong. I think it's a fantastic cheap um, graphics card in 2023, but I'm really enjoying following the progress of APUs these days. And the 7735HS inside the UM773 Lite from Minis Forum is no exception. It's always crazy to see what sort of figures these little things can pull. But there we go. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. If you'd like to see any other comparisons, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to, of course. And hopefully, I'll see all of you in the next video.